blink with the king. Absolutely not. Look out. Oh! And down goes Saban. And he just doesn't stop. A poet of perpetual motion is Bakingo. Big spin kick there. Shot to the arm. Kick right to the back of the net. Great Enziguri there by Bakingo. Oh, oh God. You can hear the impact here. Thud of shin on jaw. Oh, oh and look at Bakingo. With ease, with grace. With incredible skill. Take another look at this. The inverted flip into the Hurricane Rana. And now look at the way that he's tied up Kushida. That's why he's the AAA Mega Champion. Uh oh, and now, oh, Chris Saban took his time there. Kushida, oh, could have been in danger of submitting. And now some snap German suplexes by the champion. Saban establishing for everybody, both in the ring and out, that this is his yard at the moment. I know Chris Saban is a little sour that he was pinned in the last match of the last live event under the Impact Wrestling Bear final resolution last month in Toronto. He's a little salty, and he's coming into this match with a point to prove and a championship to defend. And you can't entirely blame him. I mean, it was a tag team matchup in which he partnered with his Motor City Machine Gun brother and the TNA World Champion, Alex Shelley. That's their wheelhouse. That's normally where they succeed the most. Oh, However, oh, not that night. Go for an STF here. And now Kushida, look out, Cartwheel, oh, and there's the drop kick, breaks up the submission, keeps the match alive. Well, Shaw sent to the outside, same with Edwards. Again, you have to scale the trusses, you have to get across the cables, unhook the X, and then get down to the canvas with both feet touching the mat with possession of the X in order to be declared the winner. Ooh. Whomever wins this match will have a future Knockouts World title shot. So the stakes could not be higher. As we've broken down into a little bit of a three-way dance here between Brookside, Threat, and Luna. Now Brookside able to take down Luna. And Jody Threat rushes after Zion. Oh, a beautiful drop kick there. Alicia Edwards sent to the ropes. Double knees there. Two for one there for Jody Threat. And, that, and that's just smart economics. Oh. If you can take out two of your opponents at once, it makes your path up to the X a lot cleaner. Because math. Now off the ropes. Danny Luna. Oh, look at the power of Luna. That's the strength. Oh. Beautiful fall away slam there by Danny Luna. Hey, you remember the incredible show of strength Jordan Grace had in the first knockouts Ultimate X. Danny Luna filling that role here in this one. Look out! Oh, what an exploder there by Luna. And another one, this one to Shaw. Luna's such a valuable addition to the TNA Knockouts division. There's so much in front of her. Dives after Giselle Shaw on the outside. Remember, no count outs, no disqualifications, obviously. That's right. Now here in TNA, look out. Up in the sky, no surprise there. Time to fly with Brookside. Takes down both Shaw and Luna and herself in the process. Back, Meanwhile, back inside the ring, Jody Threat, the only knockout standing. She's standing on top of the turnbuckle. Will she be the first one to grab the ropes, but sees the target instead? Oh, the wild child takes out three competitors at once. Jake Santee! I love the decision by Santino. Oh, that is one hell of a way to even the odds. Look out, look out! something from behind. Good luck to the referee trying to get this thing under control. Inside the ring, only Prunius charges after something, but gets sidestepped. Well, on one side of the ring, you're going to have Jake something, PCO, and Rhino. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. PCO. No, 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 no. PCO's going up top. There's the PCO salt. One and a finish. What he started. Take another look at this massive humanity taking out the field. Again, the 
trying to get a control of this tag team match. Good luck. Supposed to be Rhino, PCO, and something against Tango, Alpha, Bravo, and Prudence. That's three wildebeests on one side of the ring, essentially. Good luck containing any of it. Santino, he can make some interesting decisions. Interesting. That's a word for it. Insane. PCO sends Daniel back inside the ring. And, and now, and yes, we do have a tag. I was going to say, we're getting semblance. Something else. It should be terrible. It's a little bit of both. Oh, big shot there by Killer Kelly. Decay surprising all of us here in Las Vegas. This title match, a surprise in and of itself. Not to mention, who's that person earlier on tonight arriving in the limousine? Again. I'm like 95% sure, but I ain't ruining it for anybody. Just keep your eyes glued to your sets. It's Masha Slamovich to meet Havoc. Oh, straight headbutt by the powerhouse known as Havoc. Oh, now Slamovich and Kelly. Kelly. Oh, could have been a double choke slam there. Now MK Ultra. Oh, by Havoc. It's about to say great teamwork from MK Ultra, but shut down just like that. Courtesy of the powerful Havoc. Oh wait, Havoc not done here yet. Another two for one special. Anywhere. You've been in matches like this before. Yes. Very complicated. Being in the match, it's hard to sometimes remember oh. who's legal, who's not. You have to be very careful. Back inside the ring is Bailey. Goes to work outside the ring. It's Laredo Kid and James Drake. Oh! And that corner has been trouble. Laredo Kid crashes down, and James Drake looking to take advantage. Dropped in uncomfortable fashion there on the top rope. Bailey and those bare feet up along the top rope. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh my God! Jason Rana! I'm going to follow up here. Oh! Tornado kick there in the corner. Drake is down. Oh, Laredo Kid and Speedball. Crashing on the outside, but inside, it's Ultima Weapon from Bailey. It could be a miracle for Bailey and Kid. Oh, and it's, a, it's broken up by the Rascals. Just in the nick of time. Oh, double super kick by the Rascals. The Rado Kid back onto the apron, but oh, Miguel. Look at this poison Rana to Drake earlier on, and then this, the 450 from Laredo Kid on the outside. The Rascals, if you just saw, tag themselves in off the Bailey, so it's the Rascals legal against the Grizzled Young Vance. The action does not stop. Super kick, double stop, great setup by the Rascals. Is this it? Is this the moment? Cover, all broken up by one half of the tag champs. They saw all over Alexander. Hammerstone, Hammerstone to get oh, okay. out of the corner. Whoa, look at the raw power of Hammerstone. Despite that damage done to his leg, take a look at this. Just hoisting oh. the walking weapon. Throwing him like a sack of potatoes. 
These two have only oh, met on, once Josh. before in singles action. It ended in a no contest two years ago, and you can see why. Marcus oh. feel the tension, just how physical this is. Oh, up under the shoulders. Listen, Alexander runs about 230, 240 pounds. Look at the way that Hammerstone just tossed him up onto his shoulders. Tossed him like a beanbag in a backyard oh. picnic. Straight right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Hammerstone dropped on the apron. Spine bent right across the iron bars of the ring apron. Take a look at this one more time where steel meets wood. Oh, a slam. You can see the way the body of Hammerstone bounced. Yeah. Oh, cross body right to the back. Shot by Alexander to follow up. He's got the TNA fans behind him here in Vegas. The first focus was the leg that allowed him to get the advantage. Hammerstone fought back, but now it, it seems as the walking weapon is targeting the lower back of Hammerstone, maybe prevent him from doing all that lifting, throwing, heaving that Hammerstone likes to do. Shoulders got the 265 pounder up there, a feat in and of itself by the rolling center. Rolling through and immediately looking to follow up here with the knee. Expose the knee. Pull down the knee. Nice move. Trinity at least had it scouted, knew it was coming. Scramble to those ropes. Oh, kick right to the face. Trying to keep Jordan Grace at bay. Trinity going up to the top rope here. It's a facet of her game that Trinity can really excel at within this oh. matchup and a cross body and it pays dividends. Here's, here's where Trinity can succeed. Oh. Spiking the juggernaut down to the mat. There's a cover to hold on to the championship. The left shoulder up in time. Trinity's gonna have to keep that kind of momentum. Keep her foot on the gas in that manner with Grace if she wants to pull ahead here. Shots to the head of Trinity. It's a flurry of offense from the juggernaut and once again. Oh! oh! Power bomb stacks up Trinity. Kick out there. Able to stay alive. Oh! Rise, rising knee lift there. Oh my god! And Trinity drops straight on her face. Just turned inside out. Covered by Jordan Grace to win the championship and a kick out there by Trinity. Listen, we're only a few minutes into this matchup. How much more Trinity, uh, how much more of this can Trinity handle? That is the million dollar question. As the assault continues from the Call Your Shot Gauntlet winner. <laughs> Trinity. Oh. The fiery champion continuing to battle back and is leveled with a clothesline there. Dare I call that casually thrown? I mean, it was one of those things as you see Jordan Grace in firm control. Here's where she turned Trinity inside out just moments ago. And you saw that flurry of strikes from Trinity met by the one Larry. And now Grace just pedal to the metal out here. Side the juggernaut jackhammer. Rushed in. Thinking about slice. Bread. Bring the power. Moose. Oh no. And the left door once again went into the post. And look out here. Oh, oh. Shell shock on the floor. Champion and challenger both down. Shelly delivering his best shot on the outside of the ring. To Moose, but Shelly can't capitalize. He's got to get Moose back inside the ring to take advantage. Trying to use his time to recuperate. Get a little water, get a little air, get a little sign of life. Shelly's done a great job of breaking Moose down, especially targeting that arm and shoulder, but it's taken a lot out of him just to get there. Count of seven, Shelly inside the ring. Count of eight here. Shelly might be willing to take the count out victory here. Count of nine, Moose. Moose back up to his feet. Moose beats the 10 count just barely. Now oh. Shelly into the cover and a kick out. 
And look at Shelly. Is Shelly starting to doubt? Is he starting to wonder? Again, Shelly hits Shell Shock on the outside. Oh! Thought he'd gotten enough of moves, but now sent into the corner. Uh oh, face first into the middle turnbuckle, some of the shoulder as well. Shelly's done a great job bobbing and weaving and striking when necessary. He just needs to hit that shell shock one more time. Uh, shoulders down, shoulders down here by Moose. Oh, and Shelly with a forearm blast cover and a power out by Moose. Shelly's not out. stopping, shoulders down and a kick out by Moose. And now to the injured left arm. And looking to lock in the Border City stretch. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Look how quickly Moose was able to break free. Moose knew it was coming. Off the backside there. Moose gets back up. Power move by Moose. Nick Nemeth is it hard to kill. Are you kidding me? And the world champion. Just level!